In just over 10 minutes from now, we are going to hear from the Middlesex London Health Unit, and they are going to have an announcement on masking. And if I read it right, it looks as though we are going to see masks required in public spaces that are enclosed. But let's let's wait and get the official announcement, like we said before. So that's coming up in a little over 10 minutes. We started the show today, and if you missed the interview, I'll make sure it's on the podcast with Rico Phillips. And Rico won the Willie O'Ree Community Hero Award last year. He's the OHL's new director of cultural diversity and inclusion. And we spent some time talking hockey because that's kind of what he got himself involved in. He was a firefighter, retired from firefighting, and now is working for the Ontario Hockey League. And he's based out of Flint. And we got talking a bit about team sports and the importance of knowing how to be on a team knowing what it means to be a part of a team. If you look at masking, it's part of a team. You know, you're not doing it for yourself. You're doing it for your mates. You're doing it for your teammates. You are doing it to protect the people around you. And if there is something that needs to come out of this pandemic, it is a greater sense of inclusiveness. We have seen divisiveness made okay. And I don't like that. And I blame the guy in the White House for giving it a bigger voice than it should ever have had. We are on the same team. And someone who puts that into words so beautifully is our next guest. Mohammed Hamoud is part of Recovery 2020, Awake, Aware, and Ready, and is here to outline what that is and when it's taking place. Mohammed, it's been too long. How are you? Good, my friend. Thank you very much for always allowing me to engage in a lively conversation with you, Mike. Well, we can listen to you and your conversations all day because you've got a great optimism, you've got a great spirit about you, and you've got to tell us what you're working on now. What is Recovery 2020? So Recovery 2020 is an opportunity for Londoners to come together on a virtual summit and to raise awareness around ways our community can heal and recover not only from COVID-19, the pandemic that has gripped us and gripped everyone in the, around the world, but to really fight together against racism, how we can nurture a more inclusive and caring reality, not to go back to the old normal, but to really create a reality that each one of us is intentional about working towards. So how is this going to happen in terms of this event? I mean, it's going to be, as we know, it's, it's not waving a magic wand. It's one little thing after one little thing that will create long-lasting change, and that'll take a while. But in terms of this event, what is taking place? So what is taking place, we have five Londoners who are community builders, who are engaged, who are subject matter experts in their, in their different fields. Uh, some are from the medical field. Some are on, on, a part of, you know, a city councillor. Uh, uh, politicians. So we have people with different stakes in the community, but what brings them together is they all believe in working towards our community. And working towards our community means starting first within our home, and that is London. So how do we help London heal? How do we get together, have a conversation, but turn that conversation into action items? So what you can do is support this on August 13th, Thursday, August 13th, from 5 to 6 p.m. We're having a virtual summit where, you know, you've all been Zoomed out, but we're going to Zoom you in to talk about how we as a community can start listening to ways that these community builders believe we can heal, we can work together, we can address the many viruses that are impacting us, not just the virus of COVID, but racism, discrimination, marginalization. It exists in our community, and unless we're very intentional about fighting it, we're not going to protect ourselves from the physical virus that is haunting us by wearing masks and, and being aware of the social distances that we're keeping, but by creating a unity through working together so that we can overcome the viruses that have kept us apart. Mohammed Hamoud joining us. Mohammed is helping to put together Recovery 2020, awake, aware, and ready. So again, give us the date for that, Mohammed. So it is Thursday, August 13th from 5 to 6. We are sharing this on various social media. I'm working with different organizations to get them on board so that they can share this out as well. Uh, you can look me up on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. I've shared it there. Uh, the various panelists who will also be engaged in the conversation are sharing it through their media. 
And uh, we ask you to support us. What we're trying to do is, yes, we want to raise awareness. Yes, we want people to have a clear call to action so that we can have clarity around what's next. How do we, how do we not just get back to work and, and our workspaces, but how do we continue healing and working together? Because like you, just, you were just saying, it's for the people around you that you have to be, be more cautious and be more aware. We want people to be more aware that our strengths are what makes us our differences are what makes us stronger. So coming together to talk about that and our caring for other people means that, look, I don't like to wear a mask, but I do it because I care about the people around me or I'm going to start doing it because now it's mandated. So I learn from the people who, who say that we have to do these things. And the one thing that we're doing, Mike, that I, I really want to call out is we're trying to raise funds. So people who are going to join the call, they don't have to donate, but we strongly ask you to donate whatever you can, $10, $100, towards a close family healing services because at the end of the day, the people that are most impacted by the diseases in our community, the ignorance and the arrogance and, and, and the physical diseases are the people who are most vulnerable. And these people won't be able to get on the call with you and I because they probably don't know how to and they can't and they don't have the means. We, you and I are privileged. There's different layers to privilege and you and I are privileged socioeconomically speaking, right? And we want to help these people. And a step to do that is to collect funds through this event and to give them back to uh, an organization that is doing wonders to help people in our community all right you can find it on eventbrite as well and you can find information there so if you go to eventbrite recovery 2020 awake aware and ready muhammad thank you for the conversations that you introduced years ago that dealt with this very same topic and thanks for keeping the conversation going be well be safe god bless you and thank you take care take care that's Bye-bye. Mohammed Hamoud. Recovery 2020, awake, aware, and ready. It will be raising funds for Adlosa, but it will also be continuing that conversation or introducing that conversation. Even if you sit back and just listen, just listen for as long as you can. It is going to be small things that make big differences. No magic wands here. And as Mohammed said, it's, it's about team play. Masks are about team play. You a team player? Because you're not protecting yourself wearing a mask. You're protecting other people. And you can say all you want. Yeah, but I don't have it. Do you know that for a fact? Have you been outside? You might. You might be asymptomatic. Yeah, I don't have it. Uh, Okay, can you put on a mask just to make sure? Because you're protecting other people around you. How are masks going to be handled in Middlesex, London? We're about to find out. And I've got an inkling that there is a change coming because there's a big announcement coming. And it is just over three minutes away on London Live. Stay with us. This is Global News Radio, 980 CFPL.